Huh. Well, did you know that Grand Rapids Central High School is the oldest functioning high school building in the entire state. Okay, did you realize the school turns 150 years old? And this weekend, there's a special celebration. And today we have two alumni, Jim Hall and Jan Zomberg, here to tell us all about what's happening. I can't even imagine, because I know planning for class reunion is really big, and you've really supersized this. Tell yes, us we, about it. Yes, we have. We, uh, well, this is all Jan's idea, and we started clear back last fall. So um, we've been at it for about eight months. Uh, to say the least and our turnout has been absolutely spectacular uh, we are expecting somewhere between 13 and 1500 people Wow uh, we're kind of proud that the event is free uh, we're going to open uh, at 3 o'clock on Saturday it's Saturday only and we're opening at 3 o'clock with an open house and registration at 430 we have a program that lasts an hour and then at 5:30 we're going to have an alumni reception. So that's the kind of the what we're how our program. We have a website that everybody's registered at. Uh, the bad side is we only had 1,100 seats in our auditorium, so we had to put an overflow in our cafeteria. But we're not discouraging anybody from coming because they'll be able to enjoy, if nothing else, the open house and the reception. They, the downside would be they'd have to sit in the cafeteria and watch it on closed television. But so tell us about the, the legacy of what Grand Rapids Central High School has meant. You've had some famous grads. You have just a rich, rich history. We do, and we're proud of that history. We have, we can both Senator Vandenberg, First Lady Betty Ford, astronaut Roger Chafee, many, many professional athletes, nuclear scientists. We've had people in every walk of life graduate from Central High School. We're very proud of that. We followed, I like to say that we have followed in the footsteps of some great people and that some great people have followed in our footsteps. Mm -hmm. But when you walk that building, it's almost, you can see the history of the people. You know, you're sitting in a, in a classroom that Betty Ford sat in or that Roger Chafee and Betty Ford has graced our stage. Wow. As is Booker T. Washington, President Taft, President Roosevelt. Wow, that is really awesome. We it's are, located in the Heritage Hill neighborhood yes, where our station is mm -hmm. located. We get to drive by it a lot. Some people may be a little bit unfamiliar about what makes it so special. You have this poster here. Even the architecture, it's a very old school, old building, is very unique and a model for other schools. Yes, and we like to say that we are the heart of the city because mm -hmm. we are. And the building, they have used this model to build schools as far away as California. We have gargoyles and the architecture of the building is in the shape of an E. Mm -hmm. We have uh, four floors of classrooms actually and it's one of the bigger buildings. Our auditorium is historic. It's the only original auditorium in the city being used at this time. Mm -hmm. It was originally built to seat 1500 but I believe at one time there were pull down bleachers on the sides. Wow. But with the balcony and the main floor it will seat a little over 1100 people. Mm -hmm. And you, you've made sure that it will never be torn down. We have. It's a state historical preservation, so the building can be used for other things, but the outside architecture integrity has to be kept. Mm -hmm. When they built the new part of the building, they, the gym which faces into the concourse of the cafeteria, that architecture is on the inside of the cafeteria, and then it's all glass. Mm -hmm. So all that is, everything is connected, and we've managed to keep that integrity. And then the front steps down here are all the numerals of every class that's graduated starting from 1911. Wow, it's got to be exciting to be able to put together something uh, that so many people are going to go back to. When you think mm -hmm. about this time in our lives, you're, you're, being, you're, being, you're becoming who you are. Mm -hmm. These are memories that stay with you forever. They're friendships that stay with you forever. What's the buzz that you've heard about the people coming this Saturday and their thoughts? Oh, we've had uh, on the bottom of registration, yeah. we have a comment, sure. and I get those registrations, and I absolutely love to read them, because everybody, you can just sense the excitement. Yeah. Uh, everybody's excited. I had a call yesterday from a lady that graduated in 1934. She just drove up from Florida, and she was just tickled to death to come to our <laughs> event, and she wanted to know all the particulars, and I said, I'll make sure you have a seat. Wonderful. So, yeah. Now, this wow. is the last year as Central as a comprehensive high school. You know that we're, we're continuing mm -hmm. on. Right. It's a new chapter, really. It's a brand new chapter. The legacy of yeah. this wonderful institution. Health, science, technology, and uh, we've kind of, they've kind of teamed up with uh, uh, Spectrum Health and the DeVos's and, 
and uh, it's going to be a lot of good training for medical mm -hmm. students in the future. Yeah, we've got the specifics on the screen there, of course. It all starts at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Really exciting event, and so this is going to be wonderful, and it's going to be buzzing in this area. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you ever have the opportunity to drive by the school, if your travels take you around the Heritage Hill neighborhood, it's definitely worth this trip to see this institution and really how incredible it is. Yeah. And you actually have a book that one of... I, I do. This is one year Miss Schreiber, who taught English for 35 mm -hmm. years and has actually helped us with this thing, program. Her students wrote this book, Visions of the Past, in lieu of a term paper. Wow. And so they researched our history, and there's pictures of the old buildings and the, the really funny mm -hmm. uniforms that they wore for sports. <laughs> and uh, it, it really is quite fascinating. And one of our more famous grads also is Ralph Hauenstein from the Hauenstein Center. Oh, That's wonderful. wonderful. And we yeah. invited him. A He's turning 100 here. this year. Oh, my goodness. He's, yeah. He'll be 100 and he can't come because he'll be at the Ford Museum for his birthday party. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. But he was yeah. invited also. So it's we really do have wonderful people that have graduated from Central, and we are proud of our school. Celebrating our city's history. We are. Absolutely. At the same time. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in. Oh, thank, thank you. For you. Thank you for thank sharing. You. Yes, absolutely. Yep. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. Thank you very much. It was great. Are you West?